The fall of the third police precinct during last year's riots was a pivotal moment in Minneapolis. You've seen the video of the police headquarters being lost. As rioters torched the building, officers were forced to evacuate. For the first time tonight, you'll see video of those final moments as police left before vandals breached the building. Only WCCO's Jennifer Merrily walks us through the never before seen video and what unfolded from one officer's perspective. In seemingly quiet moments of May 28, 2020, video shows officers gathered inside the Minneapolis Police 3rd Precinct. It's roll call. Here, gas masks and protective gear is on, soon becoming clear this night is different. Do you guys hear what's going on? The Commissioner of the Department of Public Safety is, evac is making us evacuate this building. We are going to go in one huge team. You are not going to make it out the door in twos. You're going to go out the door in singles. Maintain contact with the person in front of you. They'll probably be gassing out there. So you're going to have full gas mask and all your riot gear on. The clock on the wall shows it's just before 10 at night. Once everyone is accounted for, they head for the door. As they step into the darkness, you can hear the chaos erupting outside the precinct. The officer who recorded the video said officers had spent days being constantly harassed and verbally abused leading up to this moment while people threw things at them. He packed his personal items up earlier in the day. He also told us they had a massive crowd outside of our precinct constantly banging away at our doors and windows with rocks, objects, fireworks. And as they prepared to evacuate, the officers could hear loud crashing and explosion sounds. In writing, he shared he kept one bullet for himself, saying, I do not want to be beaten to death and be dragged alive through the city streets. Help them out! Help them out! Once outside, officers discovered the gate to get out had been jammed closed. The squad had to ram it so they could escape. Officers walked half a mile to a location where a bus would eventually pick them up. Open the door! I had adrenaline, sick to my stomach type feelings watching that, knowing kind of the preview of what happened after that. Brian Peters is the executive director of the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association. It represents thousands of officers in the state. I saw the men and women that put on that uniform that bravely fought as hard as they could being told to leave their house. I saw a very well calculated um, exit. However, as soon as they went outside, it was chaos. You could hear people cheering, and that's just gut-wrenching. Peter said he felt for everyone who had to leave that way and says he continues to hear from officers who were there that they felt abandoned and unsupported. That was very humbling uh, to see, but also heartbreaking. In Minneapolis, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The officer who shared the video with WCCO didn't want to talk on camera, but he did want his video and perspective to be seen widely. He has left the department. He says today he suffers from PTSD and feels ashamed and betrayed by what happened that day. Here are some pictures of the aftermath. You can see things are strewn about, tables and other items knocked to the ground, and parts of the ceiling have fallen to the ground. Officers are currently working out of a second temporary home in downtown Minneapolis. As for the evacuation itself, the Department of Public Safety said the commissioner never issued such an order, nor would he have the authority to do so. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry has said he ordered the evacuation.